All right. Um, <laughs> so this I, so this topic uh, basically kind of came out of the whole thing of um, when Pearl in the last episode said, "Why don't we all marry each other?" So technically speaking, you know, Lapis and Peridot are now married, as well as they're married to Pearl and Garnet. Technically, that would mean they're also married to Ruby and Sapphire. The only one who didn't get in on this marriage action was apparently Amethyst. She's kind of, but I, maybe they threw her in the, in the wedding vows. She's like, she wasn't here, and the priest was all like, oh, whatever, you're paying me. <laughs> That's probably someone's fanfiction out there. If not, I've just given you a idea <laughs> right there. Anyway, so I kind of thought of this idea, being the Lapidot shipper that I am, and yeah, I've talked about, you know, Steven Universe shipping in the past before. I've, I've, I've gone into, into detail about it in the past, but I've never really gone into this... I don't think I've gone this one into this one that much. And yeah, I still kind of like Pearl and Peridot kind of hanging out, but more it's kind of evolved in... It's gone from... With Pearl... With Pearlidot, as I call it, or and everyone else, uh, with Pearl and Peridot... Um, I feel like it's more like science. It's become more like science buddies. It's almost like but it's like Doctor Bunce, a, a alien version of Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker. Can you guess who's who? Yeah, I just want a video now of like of Muppet audio clips of like uh, Pearl as as Doctor Honeydew and as and Peridot as Beaker, because you know that's how it would go. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the idea of why I kind of like, um, Lapidot, uh, the, why I've come to really love Lapidot out of all, you know, out of, it's probably my flagship for Steven Universe ships, and I'm pretty sure it's a goddamn battleship for everyone else. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it is, and... Well, I wouldn't say Lapidot's my favorite ship now that I think about it. It's probably, it's like, it's neck and neck with Steven and Connie at a little higher. Steven and Connie I probably like a little more. Um, St so, Stevani for, uh, for the win. But yeah. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Stevani. We're here to talk about Lap two lesbian space rocks, damn it. Anyway. So... Let's get into this. So the reason, the big reason why I kind of like Peridot and you know Lapis together is because, the, and here's the big reason. I feel like they're two. It's it's very much, and Peridot said it best. We're both, you know, they're both strangers in a strange land. You know, they still, you know, they're still learning about Earth. It's not like with Garnet, Pearl, and Amethyst, who have been here since pretty much the fucking start. Um, Peridot and Lapis. Have, well, Parrot, uh, well, Lapis has been here, but she's trapped in a mirror. You know, she's been literally stuck in one place at a time. She never got to experience Earth. Peridot's been on Homeworld for thousands of years and never experienced Earth up until now. Even then, when she visited, she was kind of like trying to be Shockwave. Also, speaking of, um, when I was watching that episode and Peridot was going, Look at me, Steven! I'm on a tractor! And I thought to myself, there was a t time in our lives where we thought you would be a credible threat. Now look at you. <laughs> All durable. Anyway, so getting back on track. And that's what I really like is because um, Peridot and Lapis have really, you know, they're the definition of living life. You know, they've n they're now, you know, no longer bond bound by, you know, gem regulations or, you know, stuff from Homeworld. They are now learning to live their own lives on Earth. They're understanding it, and they're understanding it together because they, you know, they're both strangers. They're both, you know, they don't know what to do. They honestly feel like they're stuck in this world, but it doesn't have to be a prison. It can be a home for them, and they've made it a home for them. They've learned how to coexist. They've learned how to understand the world around them. They're still learning. Yeah, they're still learning. Don't get me wrong. But it's a, you know, that's the best part of relationships is that it's a learning experience. Plus, so that's what I really, that's what I really like about the mo the most of it for for the two for the couple is that Peridot and Lapis are both, you know, they're trying to understand Earth, and at the same time, they're still trying to understand each other. You know, Peridot's very neurotic. She's very, she has a, clearly a superiority complex. She's Zim incarnate. Let's not beat around the bush here. Uh, bush here. She's um, <laughs> she's basically Zim, um, and Lapis has her own demons to fight. 
you know, she's more or less put a, a wall around herself, give, except for, um, except for Steven and possibly Peridot. But even then, it's very clear that Peridot and Lapis still kind of like, whatever. <laughs> Like that moment where Peridot bubbled um, that corrupted gem and sent it to the barn, and, and Lapis had this zero fucks given look. Anyway, um, so that's one. So that's really why I like um, Lapidot in its whole is that they're both you know they're both very different personalities, but they get along. But they mesh so well. You know, Peridot is like is a very good example for Lapis. You know, she's a very good. Um, healthy uh, relationship for Lapis because the last one with Jasper didn't exactly go well, did it? No, it didn't. Um, so I like that that you know with Par and if you ship ja you know Japis or you know Jasper Dot or whatever, I'm not trying to say my ship is better than yours. I should have said that at the beginning of this video. I apologize, but I um, I don't want. I'm not here to bash ships. I'm in no way here to bash ships at all. And again, I apologize for not you know saying that sooner, but yeah, I'm, I'm in no way here to bash anyone's ships, I'm just here to talk about how much I loved it, of how much and why I love this ship the most. So I apologize um, for that, and, I, and sorry for sounding like that earlier, if I sounded like that at all in the video, I do apologize. Anyway, moving on. So that was the big, so that's kind of the big thing here with, um, with Peridot, is that, you know, she's a great influence on Lapis. And even then, Lapis is a great, you know, I have this weird feeling that whenever Lapis tries, excuse me, Peridot tries to do something incredibly dangerous and stupid, Lapis is there going, no. She's just like that voice of reason for Peridot. And likewise, Peridot is this lovable little green ball of energy who is keeping Lapis occupied for the most part. You know, so that's kind of what it is, is that I have this weird feeling that whenever Lapis feels lonely, Peridot just comes running over and goes, Lazuli! <laughs> hey, Lazuli! Lazuli! Let's go build something! And, La and you know, that's a, that's a good way of looking at a relationship, is always staying active in your, you know, in your relationship. And at the same time, I feel, again, Lapis, I feel like, slows down Peridot from doing something really, shall we say, destructive. <laughs> so that's, um... So that's what I've really come to really enjoy about the um, the pairing of Lapis and Peridot. And, you know, but the main reason is they're still learning about so much, and they're learning about it together. They're learning so much about Earth together, and that's what I've really come to love about this, um, about this couple on a whole. So, yeah. It's, uh, it, again, I'm not here to bash anyone's ship. I do apologize for that. I really do. Um, it's just that I was just kind of like, hey, I, you know, that, at la um, yes, last night's episode really made me go, yay, Lapidot is kind of canon. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> it's a little confusing. Anyway, but I've, re you know, I've really come to love this ship, and, yeah, I just wanted to kind of just talk to sit or, um do a quick video on it and why I and and kind of explain some of the reasons why I really dig Lapidot. I again I really I think the more I think about it I was like, yeah, I kinda like Steven and Connie's relationship because it's so adorable and I could go on and on and on about it. And I have at points at the at Geek Volution with Manos. But yeah. Um anyway so I think I've pretty much talked all I could about this, so I'm going to leave it up to you. So as always, I'm always, I'm always uh, curious to see what you guys have to say about this. So you guys tell me, what do you guys think of Lapidot? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Um, just really curious as to what you have to say about this. And again, I don't mean to, you know, if you like such and such pairing, that's totally fine. No ill will against you. I just kind of like, I want to talk about Lapidot. Because why not? <laughs> that was literally the train of thought for this shit, for this, um, for this vid. But anyway, once, just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.